Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. What I'm going to talk about is a phonograph spring barrel. This one happens to be on an Edison home. And you'll see the hole here. And that's because they riveted in this nipple into here. We'll just do it on the outside. So we have this is on the inside. But what happens on phonographs is this is the one I built. And this is the one that failed. And why did this one fail? Well, on this spring, it happens to be an Edison spring. The pear shape is extremely wide at the end here. It's supposed to be a much tighter. You should have a more pronounced pear. Because the center right here in the middle, that catches it. And the reason I didn't grind this down into a smaller area was there's not enough material left on the spring here. So to build a new one, you'll see this one. This is barely holding the spring in place. Now we have substantial material to hold the spring in place. So when you have to rebuild one of these, you have to machine these out, you have to do it. The other thing is, this fits in this hole right here. So we'll take this. And we will We tapped it in. You see here how I've tapped this in. Now on Edison's, because we want to make this look like it's an original Edison, I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to run a piece of flat steel here because this nipple that holds the end of the spring is flat. We don't want to bend it like this. And then I will take a ball peen hammer and I will peen this over so it looks original. So 100 years or 150 or 200 years down the road, somebody's going to take it apart and say, wow, it still has an original nipple. I have seen people put screws in there. Oh, yeah. Screws, nuts, bolts, nails. You know, I like pointing these things out, but the attention to detail you really have to look at, like this pear shape, you know, is not a good pear shape. If the spring had broken, yeah, we could re this and redo and do a much better pear shape than this one here. I love pointing this out, and that's my tip for the day.